I was the kind of kid who will always be happy to get toys. Why? Such kind of toys that can fly. So I could break them down in pieces just to see what happens in there, just to see what is in toys, how they work, and interact with them. So one day I got this crazy idea of going to Nakumat and buying a toy helicopter, taking my phone, strapping it on the, on the helicopter, and flying it around just to see what happens and probably get a live video screen. And what, happens, what happened was this. That's exactly what happened. The helicopter and my phone went into the pond. But I didn't stop there. I thought, hmm, how can I make it better? So after a long period of working with my team members in the lab, long nights with coffee, no sleep, and lots of electronic music, spending lots of time in the lab, finally got it right, and we moved from this to something like this. Now this looks better. We built drones that carry cameras, and they can fly up and give us views that we've never seen before. And what more, they, they do that in a very cheap way. If we'd like to have an aerial picture of this room, we'll have had to get a helicopter, lots of logistics, fly it here, get a pilot, lots of cash to do that. But now we have a very easy, cost-effective, very cheap way of doing the same. So I got together with a team of people, and these guys are really cool, and we do really cool stuff, and we have lots of fun as we do that. And the team does stuff like this photo, which is a photo of this room you are in right now, taken from a couple of meters above, or other stuff like this, which speaks volumes of fences of the kind of place we live in and other cool stuff like this here, which is a really amazing image of the tea plantations in Tigoni, and lots of other more stuff like this, which is a really cool video of Delta Towers in Westlands, views that you've probably never seen before. So we are now able to do this at a very cost-effective price, thanks to technology. So I'm here today to tell you about what you and you can do with a drone. All of us can have a drone, but before, when we hear of drones, we think of these things that kill people in Iraq or Afghanistan, but that's the high-end military drones. I'm here about to talk about small, lightweight drones that are really easy to fly, relatively easy to build if you do your research first before building, and basically controlled by a remote control with an operator on the ground, the video is sent back to the operator on the ground, and it's as simple as you put your mission on a tablet, say fly to A, fly to B, fly to C, and the drone does exactly what you want. So whatever field you are in, just put your mission on the software, that's how it looks like, and the drone will do exactly what you want. So probably you just want to fly for fun in a park on, on a Sunday afternoon while having a barbecue, or you care about taking some really nice aerial views, or maybe you care about something more serious, you're in the video industry and you want to make some really awesome views from above, you'll, build, you'll get something like this, and you'll be able to make some really cool videos, like this here. which is basically a video at Hell's Gate, taken at Hell's Gate, a high rock next to one of the gorges. So as you walk down Hell's Gate, those who've gone there, these are views that you probably never see unless you get to fly above it. But now with the drone technology, we're able to do such kind of stuff. For guys in the GIS, for engineers, for architects, drones can also do stuff for you. For guys who plant cities, guys who plant roads, you can have a drone fly up above the city, above your region of interest. The drone takes images of the place, you use a GPS to georeference the images, and you're able to get really, really high resolution and accurate 3D models of the cities and buildings. For people in the agricultural industry, guys who care about 
high precision agriculture. Drones are also used to collect data over the farms and you can get some kind of imagery like this called NVDI, which basically shows you how healthy your plants are. In, for the farmers, from the ground level, it's difficult to tell how healthy the farm is. But if you're able to look at the farm from above and you're able to look at, to see the, the whole place, you're able to easily tell where you need to put in more water or where there are some pests or where you need to improve something. You're also able to tell where things are doing good and do more of that. For scientists and researchers, if you need to collect data from where you'll never dare go, easily put your equipment on a drone, send it up there, and the drones will go, get you some data from where no one will ever dare go. For people in the fire department, a drone will fly high above where you're fighting the fire and give you a really good overview of what's going on there, and you'll be able to make really good decisions based on what you see, based on the overview of the whole area. It's easy to see where new fires start and all that. And for people in the security sector, for people guarding our parks, guarding our rhinos against poachers and all that, drones can be fitted with thermal cameras which will be able to get vision day or night in any weather. It will now be possible to save our rhinos which are and elephants which are getting very few because of poachers. If we have drones over parks and rhinos are tagged with some GPS collars which are able to communicate to the drones, the drones will always stay up at the sky and kind of be an overwatch, kind of be the brother looking out, looking out for our rhinos. If you have a brand and you want to sell it, who will really ignore looking at that? That is something that I'm sure everyone will look at. So have your brand, put it on a banner, strap it on a drone, fly it around somewhere, and I'm sure everyone will be looking at your brand. Everyone will be curious to know what your brand is all about. If you have a wedding, will this be the only way to see your whole wedding, to see everyone who came to your wedding? If you really want to get the view from up there, drones will do that for you too. Whatever kind of field you are in, whatever, what, whatever you do, whether you're an architect, a realtor, someone in agriculture, whether you want to take some good photos, whether you want to have your own drone and have it follow you as you ride a boat or ride a bicycle, all this is possible. I think the drone industry is something that should be tried. If you are in the pizza business and you want to try whether a drone will deliver the pizza to your next customer, I think it's something that, give it a try. If it doesn't work out, it will still be fun. The process will still be lots of fun. Thank you very much. That's an idea worth spreading.